Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about AWS Glue cost. How much it's gonna cost you in your development, so you need to have an idea about that. So I'm taking an example of pricing for Mumbai region, which is in India. And I will provide you the link also at the bottom of this video so that you can go to that link and explore the pricing if you want to work in another region. So for ETL jobs and interactive sessions. So you will go and you can see here like 0.29 dollar it's US dollar per DPU hour. So DPU stands for data processing unit hours for each spark job with flexible execution built per second with the one minute minimum so it's applicable for glue version 3.0 and later so rest of those jobs like for python cell job and if you want to use like interactive session the last one and the provision development endpoint all these are around like 0.44 dollar Per DPU hour so this is I think main important just you have an idea like if you are gonna use it for two hours so you are gonna have like 88 <clears throat> point 88 uh, dollar will be the cost and even if like interactive session you use it starts with minimum two DPU so please make sure you consider those things and for development endpoint, I would recommend just use interactive session instead of development endpoint. So this this thing you may not need to remember or worry about this in future version 3.0 and later of GLU. Now coming to the data catalog storage and requests. In storage, it's free for first million objects stored. So the objects is mostly in data catalog is the tables and one dollar per hundred thousand object store above one million per month so it's not very expensive data catalog storage and same pricing is for request also free for the first million requests per month and one dollar per million requests above one month above 1 million in a month so this is the pricing for data catalog storage and if we go to the crawlers so its price is similar to like running interactive session 0.44 dollar so build per second with the 10 minute minimum per crawler run so now let's start with take example just to create a better understanding so let's say you have ETL job a purchase spark job that run for 15 minute and use 6 DPU the price of one DPU is 44.44 dollars so which we have seen on the last slide since your job run for one fourth of an hour so it's like 15 minute and used 6 DPU AWS is going to bill you 6 DPU into one fourth of an hour into 44. So, which is going to come to like when you will divide one fourth, four divide 44 is 11, and then 6, 6 multiplied by 11 is equal to 0.66 dollar. So, this is the price. And if you use like notebook and interactive session so suppose you use a notebook in glue studio to interactively develop your ETL code and interactive session has 5 DPU by default so you can change it up to 2 DPU because 2 DPU is the minimum if keep the session running for 24 minutes which is like 2 fifth of an hour you will be billed for 5 DPU and 5 dpu into 2 by 4 per hour is at 44 is gonna come like 5 divided by 5.2 multiplied by 0.44 is 0.88 so that's the thing and you can go to this uh, link for more understanding of the prices thank you so much